The Wii system menu has always been quite the enigma for Dolphin. While getting it to work was easy, support often broke unrelated features. Channel loading was partially working after 3.5's release, but had to be reverted when it was found to break Wii Mote support in several games. That's why we're proud to announce that Magu Magu has finally brought us a proper solution, fixing the inter-process communication required to make such complex features work properly. Some users may be wondering why this is such a big deal. After all, Dolphin could already boot any title off of its built-in game list. That's actually a very complicated question to answer. This merge alone doesn't do much for those that aren't hardware purists. Thankfully, there's another much more requested feature that relied upon this getting fixed. Full ES Launch support. ES Launch is mostly used in Wii games that boot multiple titles, such as Metroid Prime Trilogy and House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns. But the system menu also relies on that functionality for the disc channel. So, let's boot up Metroid Prime Trilogy from the system menu and see how it works. Metroid Prime Trilogy suffers from a bunch of ES launch related problems. Namely, you can only use one save slot per game, and no matter what difficulty you select, it'll default to veteran. And multiplayer? That just loads the single player! So, there's no better way to test it than to try to load Metroid Prime 2 multiplayer with the new ES launch implementation. And without a hitch, here we are in the long inaccessible mode hidden within Metroid Prime Trilogy. What finally fixed these games and features was not a focus on making them work, but rather a true commitment to emulate what they were doing in as accurate of a manner as possible. Focusing primarily on making games play and only putting a secondary emphasis on what the console is doing leads to things like ES Launch, problems that can haunt an emulator for years. While the particular features shown in this video may not be that exciting for all users, they should still be excited about the direction that Dolphin is heading. By primarily trying to fix underlying issues causing bugs, instead of just making things work on the surface, there's no telling how far the emulator can go. The following feature about to be shown is one that no one expected to get working anytime soon, and I think it's a pretty cool one myself. Yep, with a few more small fixes to Dolphin, you can even boot up the masterpieces from Super Smash Bros. Brawl! Failure.